Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's World It's a beautiful, beautiful, pleasant, overcast evening right here in Hyderabad And the... Uh, Weekend is going to be super cool and super pumped up with all the action coming up. Stay tuned on my Instagram for all the updates. Lot of surprises coming your way. But now, for now, here is another surprise bike that is here to surprise you. This is the Kiwi SR250, which is going to kind of uh, uh, be a wild card entry in the uh, price bracket of 1.49 lakhs. Now, recently, you see a lot of action happening in that 1.49 lakhs price segment first to break the ice was the Ronin and uh, the same day of the launch by evening uh, Royal Enfield ruined everyone's uh, this happiness by launching the Hunter's uh, price at 1.49 lakhs but anyway the Hunter has been a runaway success everyone knows that it's a good bike and looks great and it's priced incredibly well uh, Ronin is one of the best built motorcycles in that price point you can't get that kind of build quality anywhere including Hunter in terms of build quality Ronin is way ahead period then you have the Kiwi SR250 which has come out of nowhere and uh, they have a lot of hopes pinned on this product because it's priced well I would have hoped it to be priced at 139999 uh, price advantage would have given it a good head start is what I feel uh, to compete with its uh, really strong rivals but anyway what does this have on offer is, does it have something noteworthy to stand up and take notice so here is the red color variant this is the bike i launched last uh, week along with my friends from hyderabad so first of all the design language typically that of street twin especially the headlamp layout this is absolutely identical to that of the triumph street twin so this is a 250 cc bike is what they're branding it as but actually it is a 223 cc uh, motor fuel injected single cylinder uh, engine that puts out around 16 bhp of max power and 16 newton meters of uh, max torque which means it's a flat torque curve good amount of uh, torque throughout the gear throughout the rpm uh, rev counter then 5 speed gearbox and 17 inch wheels spoke wheels tube tires and these are some kind of chinese uh, tires so but still they all do a good job by offering on road grip as well as off road grip kya naam hai iska this is 110 by 70 iska naam kuch chinese naam hai theek hai uh, whatever it is they do a good job at the end of it all and uh, then looking at the design i love the design i mean people might fall in love with it or the kind of design it has first of all it's very small and puny and very very tiny kind of a bike uh, weighs just 125 kilos can you believe it 125 kilos and that gives it a good power to weight advantage and here is the design this uh, ring light led drl led li uh, lighting led lamp beautiful bullet shaped uh, turn indicators then you have the shock absorbers telescopic forks and uh, I think this is 37 mm uh, telescopic folks then you have a massive 300 mm disc up front disc brake at the back dual channel ABS is offered then you have a neatly encapsulated uh, radiator right over here uh, the oil cooler uh, and uh, yeah it comes with oil cooling and then in terms of uh, the tank range this is around 14.5 liter tank and uh, that coupled with the mileage i think it's a 223 cc motor so you can expect around 38 40 kmpl if you ride it sensibly and uh, have a look at this i love the the brake fluid reservoir looks very very neatly put together few elements are very very neatly uh, put together like the engine casing looks beautiful with the brushed aluminum finish for keyway branding then the sr250 branding for the side panel and this is the area where I'm disappointed. I don't, don't want to see this kind of welding marks here. Uh, a little bit of shabby fit and finish. I would have preferred it to be better done or better encased. 
So apart from that, seat is well done, well put together. You have ribbed pattern seat, decent amount of space for rider as well as pillion, easily accessible. And this is like a scrambler. Man, you would love jumping around on this, especially my <laughs> friends from Kerala. They are really good with the off-roading and think Murshid, uh, those guys will go crazy, you know, jumping around all over the place with this. That's how lightweight, 125 kilos, can you believe it? And the chassis is very capable. That is what makes it such a beautiful machine. Again, bullet-shaped uh, turn indicators look awesome. And equally awesome is the tail lamp. Then uh, here, proper uh, 80s retro-styled uh, tank lid. This is again, they could have given it an analog uh, this thing, but they've gone ahead and given full digital unit. Tachometer, speedometer, odometer, trip meter, fuel gauge, gear position indicator, hazard light switch. Can you believe it? You know, price of 1,49,000, you get hazard light switch. You have uh, high beam flasher, engine kill switch. The brake fluid reservoir is awesome, man. I love the fluid here. Uh, round uh, mirrors and uh, handlebar is good. Then you have USB charging port right over here. Uh, which comes in handy in terms of practicality all blacked out engine tubular kind of swing arm kind of does its job even at speeds of close to 125 kilometers per hour there's no wobbling there's no uncertainty it feels rock solid and uh, capable of going ahead as well so that is where the bike surprises you because when you first time look at it it's very tiny compact kind of a bike then you say, will it be able to keep, cope up once you go in the triple digit speeds? Man, that is where it surprises you. Even off-roading capability on this is beautiful, beautiful. You can just go into the wilderness, into the woods and come back in one piece because it will get, get you through it all. Yeah, not too much of suspension travel and all. A little bit of ground clearance issue, maybe ground clearance around 165 mm. But you have a center stand and a side stand both included so that might hamper it a little bit but remove the center stand and keep it only on the side stand i think uh, it will improve the ground clearance but anyway overall i feel it's a good impressive motorcycle price again as i told you one lakh forty nine thousand x showroom is the launch price so this is the qsr 250 the bike that i just launched around 223 cc single 16 bhp and 16 newton meters of flat torque, high speed gearbox, retro roadster. Let's see what it's got. Pretty stable, huh? Just 125 kgs. Okay, let's go to 120 touches a month. Okay. <laughs> 123 the power to weight ratio on this is pretty insane huh? 125 kilos for a 223cc bike and uh, yeah the power is 16 bhp torque is 16 newton meters 5 speed gearbox very compact footprint and very very flickable the design uh, silhouette reminds us of the triumph street twin to great uh, degree but price is the icing on the cake just 1,49,000 x showroom starting price you also have a usb charger over here which makes it more practical practically usable reasonably well built i won't say it is rock solid extraordinary build quality but i won't say it is poor build quality either it is well built for a bike in this price range let's put this yeah come on get inside here that is what I like about this. It's pretty stable. I hope the audio is getting recorded well. A couple of times the GoPro has let me down. Uh, like in the recent past. 
and uh, ergonomics are good seat is uh, rib pattern seat uh, not extraordinary comfort but good enough for city commutes the tank is a surprise it's 14.5 liter tank and uh, the ergonomics very very suitable for city commutes you can absolutely play around with it and the surprise is yesterday <laughs> road work was going on near kompali area and the entire traffic was jammed and i took the dirt road where the road work was happening and i just slammed past all the you know static traffic <laughs> and they were looking in awe as to what this guy is doing is such a small sweet little scrambler kind of a motorcycle yeah 17 inch wheels these are spoke wheels and tube tires but uh, they can take on better punishment and uh, as a result i feel this is a good value proposition now the only other two bikes that are available in this price bracket are uh, ronin and the hunter now both the hunter has been an absolute blockbuster hit there's no doubt about it but the waiting period will test even your grandma's patience uh, then you have uh, the Ronin one of the finest well built motorcycles better built than the Hunter also in terms of build quality that comes with the best build quality uh, but then again some people are liking it some people are not I mean the design is kind of uh, not here nor there kind of a thing it is neither a cruiser nor a scrambler nor a street fighter so people are a little confused but it is a very comfortable very well built motorcycle then comes this one the kiwi sr250 which was a sudden surprise so maybe uh, they have taken the 125 cc engine uh, or maybe this is a brand new engine we don't know because 223 cc uh, oil cooled engine and it is doing like now i would say it is just the run-in period this is the media bike uh, and it's clocked just 65 kilometers since yesterday we've been doing acceleration and deceleration trying to run this bike in a proper way that's how you run in the bike that's you that's how you bleed in your new brake pads now brake pads are new tires are new you have to warm up the tires run in the tires run in the brake pads run in the engine everything has to run in now so basically this is uh, a good motorcycle i can say uh, around 120 one is what we clogged on the top speed and it is rock solid that is where uh, it surprises you being such a minuscule kind of a demeanor just 125 kgs and the dimensions are also pretty short it is an absolute delight to flick through the city traffic and uh, but that is where it impresses you that uh, such a short footprint but still it offers good high speed stability even by doing around the speeds of around 120 kilometers per hour so that i uh, was seriously amazed and i kind of uh, i'm uh, impressed by it because you don't see it coming and uh, that's pretty much it so now as of now i kind of like the overall bike the value proposition is there they've always uh, come up with good products benelli kiwi india and uh, now zontes and you have moto morini as well so they are well built products very impressive products but the pricing seems to be here and there sometimes just a little beyond out of reach or beyond what it should be uh, for people to fall in love with it or start uh, trusting uh, this uh, value for money products so this one seems to be kind of uh, a little bit on point with 149000 maybe they could have uh, reduced it a little bit just to uh, give the likes of the hunter and the uh, run in a you know run for the money at least in terms of uh, giving this bike a price advantage that you're getting a 250 cc bike for the price of uh, nearly a 150 cc bike so that could have been uh, one marketing uh, this thing uh, gimmick they could have played but anything anyway uh, the bike is impressive it is uh, it kind of surpasses your expectation when it comes to stability and uh, agility and uh, handling also and especially off-road capability is much much better if only like as it is the handlebar is pretty good you will see as to how it performs off-road when we take it and then uh, it well, if you put handlebar racers it becomes a perfect scrambler just do away with the front and rear mud guard and you have good scrambler that you can jump around Okay, here we are in the off-roading space, nice dirt trails here, not too much of extreme off-roading but uh, we'll get to that in a moment but just at least giving you a feel 
how, how it performs. Oh, 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 it's pretty good, huh? Suspension. Okay. I have an idea as to how to jump. A good fun bike and a decent value, well built and a uh, good practically laid out motorcycle with usb charger and everything all the relevant info in the speedo so i think it is a good uh, bike to consider at least test ride the bike i'm sure you it will surprise you thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe